What we want to talk about is why is animal breeding or why is genetics important? And we have a few examples, I suppose real life examples, uh, to show from two different sires, to show the difference in performance. So if we're just taking this animal here, um, this, this uh, Angus heifer is by uh, AA5280. And I suppose if we look into the genetics of that sire, uh, he has a calving difficulty of 3.6 on dairy cows. He has a carcass weight figure of 8.9 kilos. The breed average for Angus is six, so he's above breed average. So the calves from that bull should have heavier carcasses uh, than the average Angus bull. He has a DBI of 79 euros, but it's important when you look at DBI to look at the B sub index, because that's the carcass performance index, you know, your carcass weight, your confirmation, your feed intake, and he's a value of 46 euro. And I suppose our Advantage Beef program for 2023 is set a minimum standard of 30, 35 euro or greater or equal to, whereas he's above that, he's 46. Whereas if we look at the animal behind, so this animal is a similar age, but from a different sire. So she's from uh, Angus sire AA5407. When we look at the calving figure of that bull, he's a figure of 2.6 but his carcass figure is only 1.3 carcass. So the previous animals, the sire is 8.9, whereas this bull's progeny, his, his case carcass figure on, on his index is 1.3. So considerably below the breed average. His DBI is 72 euro, but in contrast to the performance, the other, the other bull's uh, figures, his, his B sub index is 25 euro. So 46 of a B sub index versus 25. When we look at the performance on farm, if you look at the average weights uh, from last week, Sean weighed the animals, the average weight of progeny from 5280 is 434 kilos, versus the average weight of all the progeny from 5407 is 354 kilos. So a full 80 kilos, so similar age, but there's 80 kilos more weight uh, currently. So it's huge, huge difference, so it shows the importance when you're going buying calves, that you need to start asking that question. What is the genetics of that animal? What sire is he by? And, and then drill down through looking at the, the genetics of that bull. And you can clearly see when you look at the B sub index, you know, the higher B sub index will lead to you know, more heavier calves, better performing animals.